And as it always happens here, grocery stores slam because of the forecast. People picking up some last minute necessities. Nine News reporter Lauren Scafidi is visiting a few stores today. She's now at a Safeway down in Denver with the latest. Lauren. Tom, this Safeway has been slammed the last couple of minutes that we've been here. Cars are trying to come in from both directions. Cars are trying to make their way in here. And if you look across, they're also trying to make their way in from over there. But those cars are pretty much just going to end up doing a circle around the parking lot because there are no spots left. We even had to park down the street. Now we invited ourselves to a couple of the trunks as they were unloading their groceries into their cars. And some of the things were pretty surprising. On the outside, it's not so bad. But if the inside is any indication of the forecast brewing, amazing how people just freak out. Then it's about to go down. And I'm like, why are all these people here? Does nobody work anymore? It is busy. <laughs> there are a lot of people in there. And I realized, oh yeah, there's supposed to be some kind of storm on Thursday. That it's going to be blizzard like conditions. And if you forget your bread, don't go out for the bread. Too late. I think I forgot the bread. It's going to snow a lot, like a lot. We got the most important part. We got the sled. Essential means something different to everyone. A couple of cases of water. I've got candy, <laughs> vegetables and things like that. Oreos. Even found some good asparagus. And that's rare. Chips. I got some lettuce. I got some dips to go with the chips. Banana chips, of course, of course. Bacon. Get everything done today that I need to get done. Gas up the car, the truck and uh, call it a day until probably Friday. I can't even drive it in the snow. It's got too much power and it'll just fish tail and slide. My mom was actually telling me to make sure not to go anywhere. Even staying in comes with a pretty hefty price tag. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see, today, uh, a little bit, $159. Uh, I think it was like 160 bucks. $110. On junk. <laughs> Stocking up for the couch potatoes. Got the Pringles. And the regular ones. I've got the potatoes. The inside is crazy right now. I, I ran into all of this. <laughs> but the outside is about to say, hold my beer. Not all mine. This is for some of the boys. <laughs> Some of the other honorable mentions were the jalapeno Cheetos, the donuts for the 90 year olds next door, and the shrimp cocktail. <laughs> but the general consensus is that everyone is really just gonna stay in tomorrow, watch some TV, and enjoy some good snacks. You gotta have good snacks. It's like a Super Bowl kind of thing. Like it's snowing, so make it your Super Bowl. A lot of people are gonna find out what's on TV on a Thursday afternoon. <laughs> Might be. Just might like, be a gold reality. That's a lot of options, unless you're streaming something. Streaming might be good. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Lauren.